So where did all my money go? And if you've been following me, you know that I recently, not too long ago, made a good amount of money in e-commerce. The most I've ever made. Um, you know, it was a situation where I was pretty much at my lowest and I had such big plans coming up and I just saw that I was in a situation basically like I could have my life could have been so much worse you know I had a um, a trip that was booked a long long time ago an expensive trip that I never thought I would eat, spend that much you know with and then like a month before going into it i was like a thousand dollars my bank account you know after spending you know thousands of dollars on this trip just looking back like if i didn't if i didn't f discover this winning product for me if i didn't build this winner if i didn't get lucky um i would have been in a different place but ifs or buts whatever i've i've processed it already it's 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 passe right but what did i do with the money now a lot of people don't talk about this you know they don't so many people online aren't personal about their life and for good reasons trust me i I force myself to do this shit. <laughs> like I'm not, I don't, I'm not willing to be very personal and post it online for thousands of people to see. But I force myself because I know, like, this is the truth. These are the problems. These are the faults. These are the mistakes that us humans go through. But no one likes to share them because it's like it's embarrassing or it, it, it's not something people like to share people like to share only their wins it's just kind of obvious right but i have a sole intention of being fully transparent whether it's a win or whether it's a loss and especially the losses where a lot of people don't show or are not transparent about it i like to be transparent because i know that there are people behind the screen that will go through the same issue and hopefully i can help them get through it and Look, I'm not saying I'm broke. I'm not back to broke. I'm not that like I I'm not that retarded. But you do have to understand um you know, I made a big bag from e-com and then half of it is probably gone because of the holidays. I went on a big and it's I'm not going to blame it on the holidays. It's just like everything, everything that unfolded with my life like i went on a big trip that costed me a lot a lot of money then christmas came around spent a lot of gifts went out a lot paid for dinners uh um you know just because like i felt like i could afford it even though it may not be the smartest decision or maybe even some people may have more money than me but i still said i don't care i could afford it i want to pay for dinners um, for other people, for my loved ones, because that's just what I want to do. I did, I did it multiple times throughout the months of December. Um, you know, went over on gifts because it's just like, this is the season, right? And now I'm obviously experiencing the, well, I got a credit card to pay, right? <laughs> and I'm experiencing the after effects. But look, at the end of the day, I obviously know my mistake. And the mistake is to just understand no matter how much money I make, I need to stay focused and keep treating like I'm absolutely broke. You know, I can see myself and how I react and how I act. The different person I am when I know that I have like a thousand dollars in my bank account or when I have like well over five figures, like, you know, I'm, I'm a bit chilling, right? The difference of who I am the different mindset, the different actions that I do. I'm just, and, and for me, I don't understand because my goals are so much bigger. 
I want millions. I want millions and millions and millions at a young age. And when I get to middle age, I want hundreds of millions, hundreds, like, you know, it's like my goals are so big. And yet when I make such like, yes, for me now it has a, a, a huge impact on my life. But in the grand scheme of things, I know the money that I've made is just chump change. But yet I treat it like I'm fucking a baller. I treat it like I've made it sometimes. I, not that I treat it like I've made it, but I get I get comfortable. But it's like, Julian, why are you getting comfortable? You've only made, you know, 30K, let's say, in profit. That's nothing. That's fucking, that's fucking, that's nothing. Now, for a lot of people, that is something. And for me, it is something because my bank account was at 1K. But my point is, is that you know in the grand scheme of things, that's nothing. That is absolutely nothing. You're, you're striving for millions. So why get comfortable? Why be like, oh, you Julian, you made 30K. Just take a chill pill. Now, the whole mindset that I had during the, the month of December, I did not hold back on my spending. And the reason being was I always said, look, Julian, you, there's a reason God g gave you this opportunity. Now, obviously, don't spend it stupidly. But if I was going to spend it on experiences or giving or providing, right? Don't cheap out now. And you know that money is going to come back. The way I saw it was, let's say, for an example, I paid for dinners that maybe people have more, even more money than me in their bank account because they saved up for years, right? Even though they have more money than me, I know, though, I'm going to make more than them. <laughs> like, that's just a fact. I know that. So it's like, let, and I'm in something that has the room to make a hundred, even a thousand X more, right? So I just thought, let me cover for the bill. It makes me feel happy. It makes me feel like I, I, I'm doing my job. I'm doing my role. And I, for so long, I was seriously unable to do that. Like a bill would have probably put me in my bank account at zero dollars. But now that I can afford it, uh, now that I have the right mindset, now that I'm a bit more stable in my life, even though it's not in the money, but it's like I'm more stable in my mindset. I know what I'm doing. I've dropped everything and, and I'm so focused on what I do is that I could be paying for other people or giving more and feel comfortable with it. Now, do I, do I regret spending X amount this month? No, I don't. I, I try to live with no regrets. But I do want to take this lesson going forward because the month of December, the month of giving, as, like, as, like, as I'd like to say, is not every month. It's one month out of the year. Okay? So now, moving forward, starting from January, I have 11 months to focus on myself. But I did see that, okay... Let's say for an example, I'm going to give you personal examples because that's the best I can give, right? I went out for a cousin's birthday for a supper and we're like 10 people, right? We, we all went out and ate for supper. I paid for myself and my, my two sisters because that's just how I wanted to. Now, the bill was, you know, hefty for, for you know people like everyone else, right? But for me, my mind is like, bro, a few hundred, a few hundred dollars for a supper, like, I know there's more to life. There's people spending 10 grand on a supper, you know? So yes, I, I, I can start, like this is the first time I've done it, where I start paying for my like sister's meals, where yes, it may cost, instead of costing me $100, it cost me three, $400 for the whole bill for the night. But fine. But now it's the way I see it was, okay, I did it though. I, I kind of like took the next step. Okay, I started paying for bills that were a bit more expensive. But now I want to take the next 11 months out of my life to fucking focus, to lock in, to be stingy, to be selfish. So maybe, maybe when they ask me to go for a supper, 
for like no reason. I'm just saying no. I'm sorry. I don't know. And unfortunately, you got to pay for yourself, right? Because I'm not there. You know, I'm not going to come. I don't want to come. I want to really focus. And I really want to be be really selfish within the next 11 months. Do things that I want to do or do things that I know I should be doing. Even though it's, um, you know, um, to take a break and go out with family. Sure, I might uh, once in a while. But if I feel like not going, even if it's a birthday, whatever. I'm not going to come because I want to work on my business. I want to stay home. I want to go to bed early and wake up early the the day after. Okay. That's what I want to do. And I'm going to be doing that for the next 11 months. So then next December comes around and I can pay. Well, let's say we go out for supper and we're 10 people. I can pay for everyone. All my sisters, all my cousins, all my Whoever the fuck's at the table, friend, girlfriend, uh, cousins, girlfriends, or whoever is there, I pay it. That's like that's how I get better, right? So do I regret this month? No, I took the next step. Now, as a man, I'm gonna deal with it and understand that. Okay, well now, when I start working on my business again in January, well, I I could have had double the money that I have now, but you know what? It is what it is. I I can manage. I've managed with fucking $500 in my bank account. I can manage I can manage with the money I have now. But again, now my goals, you know, I set my goal this year. I said I'd make 100 grand in sales throughout the year and I did. But now my goal is bigger. Now it's seven figures. Now it's breaking that barrier of a million. Now I'm striving for bigger because I know it's possible and there's no excuses now. I've gotten, I've cleared everything out of my way. I have no school. I have no job. I just have this. There's no, I've gotten a new laptop. Um, so if I travel, I have no excuse of my laptop is shit and it's laggy and it's very slow. I have a nice setup on my home, my PC. There are no excuses. So for the money wise, do I regret it? No, I don't regret it. But I do have to say though for anyone because it's very difficult to talk about my personal life because a lot of my personal life is very different to the people watching. Like you watching, I'm sure like I can't explain it, but I've already said this before, especially like I'm sure the majority of people are in the United States. The United States for like their family dynamics are very different from where I am. From Montreal, Canada, a Italian family. We're all very tight. Like no one moves out, no one leaves early. Um, we all do things together, right? But for me, that's kind of trying to spread my wings and leave. But also, like I don't want to leave my family behind, type of thing. Like there are people where I just want to leave my family. I don't give a shit about them. Like. There's people that left their house at 16, you know. I have my sister that's like 28, 29. She's still living here because they're, the Italian way is to, is to get married first, right? So it, just fam, family dynamics are different. So it's so it's not easy to just leave and go on my own with boys and live on my own. Um, but basically, th- this December it was just a lot of time with family, a lot of time spent with them. And yes, the whole time I kept thinking, yo, I'm lacking, Julian. I'm lacking. I need to be working on my business. I need to be locked in. What am I doing? But I think it's just part of the process to understand that, hey, look, there's more to life than just money. Um, To to understand, you have to be grateful. You're spending, you're able to, like, even though I wanted to just be locked in with my business, I was able to to spend days and weeks with my family without it hurting my life. Because of all the work that I did throughout the year, when it came to December, I quit my job, I quit my school, I made um, a a good amount of money, where I was allowed to be like, Julian, you know, you, you could spend time with your family without stressing. I stressed nonetheless, and that's something I have to work on. But I could have. It gave me that room. It, I allowed my, like, I can't explain it. But basically, 
my point is I don't regret anything. I've spent a good amount that wasn't back on the business. Not only did I spend a lot not on the business, I didn't even spend a lot of time this last month. And you can probably see from my videos, I'm, I'm not posting as I used to be. But at the end of the day, do I regret it? No, I don't regret anything. Maybe, it, is it a mistake? Maybe, I don't know. All I do know though, is that I'm very grateful for this year. I did a lot this year. I achieved everything that I said I would. And I'm happy, but now it's more. And I understand that the goals that I achieved this year were good from the position that I started last January. Because now I'm looking back at the goals I achieved this year and it's like, Julian, that's nothing, right? But I have to put in perception of the person I was when I first started in January 2024. I was lost. I was lost. I was drinking. I was still in school, still in my job, still like hungover personal relationships i remember like still being heartbroken from my ex like i i was i was not the person i am today so the goals that i achieved throughout the year are correlated with the person i was back then and it made sense but now the person who i am now my goals are exponentially bigger exponentially bigger but that's just how life is once you start improving you exponentially start improving it's not just little steps you know there sometimes it's just bigger gaps right anyways I, this was a pure ramble but basically just to say like be careful with your money and how, when you make a big money in business in general that doesn't even have to just be e-com if you have bigger goals now, don't get me wrong, don't be a hoarder, don't be um, stingy or don't be greedy and like try to keep your money, but be smart with it. Be smart with it, that's all it is. Put majority back into the business, 100%, that's how you're going to grow. But if, even if you're going to spend it on life, spend it on giving maybe, spending it on, on quality experiences, relationships, whatever it may be, don't, don't go start spending it stupidly. You don't need that right now. If your goals are to make millions of dollars and you make 50K, like, take a chill pill. Take a chill pill. It's just the first step, the first tiny step of many more to come but take a chill pill don't think you're on top keep treating like like keep treating yourself like you have zero dollars in the bank account that's the best mindset that i want to have going into 2025 that's something that i learned and this video is going to be so fucking long but just keep treating like you're fucking broke even if you make a big bag because your goal is so much more bigger don't get caught up don't start spending it stupidly. Spend it, like you can spend it. I'm I, trust me. I'm not the person to save. I don't think saving is the best way to do anything. But spend it smart. Don't spend it stupidly. And you can answer that question yourself. If this purchase you're about to make is it stupid or is it smart? Is it stupid or is it wholesome? Is it valuable? Should I spend um, two hundred? Should I spend two hundred dollars on, um, you know, a designer thing? I know t designers not two hundred dollars. Let's say spend designer two hundred dollars on myself, or give two hundred dollars to my mom for a nice Christmas gift. Or when you go out for supper, mom, I got the bill this time. What's more, like you know, smart, stupid. Just think about that. Anyways, thank you for watching. This year is gonna be amazing. I promise you that. And of course, I'll, as always, I'll see you at the top.